Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Kaz Redux. I'm your host, Mr. Mocha Lover, but right now, this is the uh, result of the peace deal from the last episode. We have ourselves the People's Kingdom of Ukraine. We're looking not terrible, not great, but not terrible right now. I gave chance we were pretty much all of Asian part of Russia. Well, whoops. Well, I guess most of it. Oh well. But, um, other than that, we do have these guys under us now, too. Stability, war support's not terrible. We are at war with the Czechs. Be or, well. Who are these people? Czech Republic, yeah, Czechs. He's got some nice hair, though, but... Yeah, we can release Russia now and Serbia. I know it's by Jean, Russia, is Georgia as a puppet, but maybe we want to return Ukrainian Uth lands. The Ukrainian government has been discussing what to do with the Ukrainian lands we currently occupy, land which has been right... We have no rightful claim to. Should we return this land to them? No return any other land, nor will we ask to do so again. Return all the lands. Not include uh, states that are core or claimed Ukrainian states, though. That's kind of fine. Hey, look! You think... White Ruthenia got a little bit better. Or bigger, I should at least say. Hopefully they can core this territory. That'd be really nice. The Transmore's looking pretty good. Ottoman Empire's... Well... They're not doing too bad now. Since the fact... That's a fat... I should play as Afghanistan. Holy crap, that's really awesome. In the meantime, we're, like I said, we're still up here, and we're, uh, we're doing okay. Oh, is that Unsigman right there already? Nice. Now, I do want to go to World of the Reich's Pact, and that'll probably be the campaign, but... Georgia... I kind of want to... I don't want a ton of puppets. I don't mind having a few puppets here and there, but... Uh, Russia... After a fight with, long fight with the Russian state, we've launched a full offensive and forced the Russian armed forces to surrender. Moscow is now in our hands, and the fate of Russian nation with it. Now let's finish this war first. There's a lot of divisions trapped here. Look at that. How many casualties do we have yet? 117,000? 100, oh, 135,000? Not bad. Uh, are we missing anything right now? We need a lot more manpower, of course. But let's maybe make it a little more sport maybe. Maybe not. Not bad, not bad. Very good. And there goes the Czech Republic. Thank you for playing. Austria has no claims on this. Oh, Goring has declared war on somebody, the Soviet. Um, now we're peace, technically, so... My main goal is just to take out Germany at this point. A two-front war for them. They probably can't deal with it too much. We will have quite a border to deal with this. Also, Riga did get all the territory over there, too. We will have to deal with Sweden, which I will forget about. Oh, I don't know why they own that much. That little, so... Uh, give us the tanks. Give us half the tanks, actually. I'll send you up here. Should be good enough, right? Yeah. And we did some other comments to go through as well. So. Uh, here, Simeon. That's fine. Russia. Well, maybe we should do the Serbs first. It yeah, is, of course, 1942. Get some better artillery. Yes, please. Serb daddies. The Serbian state has been effectively eliminated, and their army is completely capitulated to our forces. With our troops now parading in Belgrade, with the towns coming to decide what we do these lands. Liberate them. Liberate Yugoslavia. Huh. They didn't hungry have, like, claims on this, but we already took them out, so. Yugoslavia. Nice. Socialist Republic of Yugoslavia. I love Filip Filipovic. Filipovic. We should be creating our own faction. Letting them live and us not having to deal with their manpower loss right, without stuff would be pretty good. Um, I do want to make sure that Russia is not a very strong power, so we'll go with Georgia first. Our forces have defeated the Georgian regime is now triumphantly marching through the streets of Tbilisi. The only thing that remains to do is to determine the strength of the Georgian territory. Trans-Caucasian Socialist Republic sounds awesome. I do like big puppets. I don't want to give up that oil down here, but we can always import it, I guess. That's so much fuel. I love it so much. Trans-Caucasian... Oh, Georgia's looking kind of nice. Leo. Huh. All right. People's Guard of Georgia. Oh, hello. Kartuli. Huh. Economic crisis, of course. Food pricing commission. Huh. In the motherland. All right, cool. Yeah, I've never seen a green Georgia like that before, too. Fate of Russia. Well, if we have to. After a long fight with the Russian state, we've launched full offensive and forced the Russian armed forces to surrender, which I read earlier. Moscow's now in our hands. Liberated socialist Russia. Well, they can take up a lot of the lands that we did get, so. And I apologize for the lag. Whenever we release Russia, this game just lags so hard. We're going to lose quite a few factories as well. We'll get a little bit of manpower back. Oh, hello. Oh, oh Bukharin. Aftermath of the Civil War. Oh, boy. Orthodox protectionism. Okrana. Unruly military. Oh! Oh, look at that! Cannot train units to Spaniards or edit unit templates. Now that's a little different. New Zemsta. National Armored School. Backward industry, of course. 
judicial reform, third Rome, head of naval intel or head of intelligence, Russian liberalism. That's fine. What? Oh, I've seen this tree before. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I definitely seen this one. Um, where is Yazov? Zinoviev. Wow. Brunza. Hold the Congress. Wow. So which one are they doing? Which focus are they doing? Expand the railway network. All right, cool. Now, of course, we got quite a bit of political power. Uh, we probably want to get more soldiers for ourselves, anyways. So, and we of course a monarch of socialists. Uh, why is the game? Oh, okay. Yeah, hey, that's pretty good. Instead of resistance suppression, now we really can't. Oh, we can do this one. Yeah, save Alma, Alma Rus. Back in the time of the Tsar, Russians would always refer to us as Little Russians, always putting forth the notion that we are underneath them. We shall beat that, back that notion as we drive into their lands on a quest to liberate a kin who can't speak their own language due to the ever-watchful eye of the Russian... Oh. Police units. Oh. Bryansk. Oh, maybe I should not release them early then. Oh, whoops. I guess I should not release them early. Well, crap. Which means that should be our territory, technically, right here. And Kursk. My bad. Kursk, Bryansk, Bailo... Oh, God. Oh, uh, probably down here. Yeah, that's my bad. I should not have released them yet. And why does the station tool mod work with this with Kaiser Redux? That doesn't make any sense. So technically, we should own this stuff too. Of course, I could just annex them later. I could use consequences to annex them now. Nah, no, screw it. We can annex them, right? My bad. I mean, I took them off barely anyway, so. My apologies about that. Save Malarus. Cool. Anyways, um, in the meantime, we're gonna go and start justifying on the Germans, maybe? Well, what if we just didn't call an, any of our allies in? And literally just have us. I'll go there for now because we do want to release Bohemia. The ancient heartland of the Czechs has been conquered by victorious forces. The venerable gem of Moldau, Prague, and its occupied by our troops parade smartly across the Wenceslas Square. Should prop up Czech government, lord of the design of our own state, and maintain a splendid military occupation. We'll release them. That's fine with us. My bad freezing constant commands, but whatever. It is what it is. Right and then all right. Now war we'll go against Polish Republic. Oh, actually that's not bad. If that's only actually if that's the only state. We can do that. And then we can train while we get ready to go to war with them. Do that and then release them. So that's my fault. My fault completely. Ooh. Build some more of that, build some more of that, and build some more of that, too. <clears throat> train, 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 train. Oh, wow, six more. Oh, six? Did you get them all at one time? All right. There you go. Thank God. So with that in mind now... Oh, we get this one. Join the Third Revolutionary Fray. Even though we were always focused on the national struggles first, it's quite obvious that the reactionaries surround our waters. So by allying with international, we can ensure revolution's fire always burns and those that nations that seek to stomp it out are repulsed. We could do that. Just go straight to war anyways. We probably want to... Yeah, let's go straight to war. Storm through Poland probably quickly. Spiders, bombers. That's a cast. There you go. All right, cast. And look at the train center. It's not bad. Give it a day. Do we have any more? No, we don't. Oh, that's fine. 
More units? Oh, yes, please. Oh, wow. Wow. Quite a few more. It's very nice. Cool. Uh, I'll go there for now. It's fine. Now we'll release Russia. With our own cores. My bad for the lagging once again, but some comments such as proper heritage and ideological loyalty to help you in the long term? Yeah, you're right. Why did I stop with the Long Union series to ask someone else? Um, that's a good question. Just because I, I don't have enough time to do many videos anymore every day, so. If you get like two videos from me a day now, it's pretty good. Someone says, Monarcho socialism is blessed. Someone says, Do you plan on more Kaiser Redux videos? Maybe a hungry one. I'm interested in the mob, but I don't have Hoi 4. Lol, your videos are on Kaiser, Rex, or Kaiser Redux. It's always good. Hey, well, thank you. Thank you for your kind words if you're still watching. Um, I appreciate it. Alright, so now... Okay, that looks so much better. Kursk. Yes, yes. Oh, goodness. Lugansk. And yeah, welcome back. Oh, uh, got way more manpower now. Of course, we're mobilizing, of course, but still. Not bad. Oh, God, we, ran, we lost a lot of things here. Especially a lot of rubber. Rubber and aluminum. Oof. Um, there we go. I'll go we'll work on that. So, join the Revolutionary Fray. Is there anything else there? Eh, yeah, suppress him. Just some casual suppression. As we will save and uh, get ready to uh, go to Pound Town. But, uh, some more comments included. Hey, I just want to let you know I wasn't trying to be a jerk. It was any sort of it was not intended, and I apologize. It's probably for the land doctrines. Like I said in the last video. And it's totally fine. I understand. Someone says, usually goes integrated support or mobile warfare. Depends on if he has a large industrial nation to take advantage of tanks or not. Uh, there really isn't a best doctrine. Mass mobilization gets very, very good bonuses early on, but falls off late game. Grand battle plan is okay all around. Especially use AI front lines when planning and don't micro. So very, superior firepower is so good because it lets you buff your artillery and support companies a lot. So, Which is really good because I use a lot of support companies as well. Lots for high organization, high office of army. That's weak on the defense and grand battle plan, but... Okay, yeah. And mobile warfare is okay if you aren't stacking speed buffs. And I'm going for mechanized armor force. Cool. Nice. And, and someone else says, Slava Ukraini. Ukraina? Ukraina. Something like that. Huh. Rex packed. Up 67 divisions. A lot of divisions. 2,000, 2 million manpower. Wilhelm. I want the Poles. Give me your Polish body. Oh, we're back up here. Well, it doesn't matter. We're going to be a war with them anyways. And we didn't call any of our allies in, I think, so that would be good. Uh, close air support, of course. No fighters. We join, but we're not joining the war just yet. If we can move fast enough, we join the international. Well, look at that. Go straight for Warsaw. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The international have see us joining the common cause, namely destroying the evil and perilous. Now we're in the syndicalist block. We are part of a united struggle that stretched from Luhansk, Lugansk to London. Only together can we survive in the face of revolutionary terror. Or reactionary terror. Nice. I don't want to join the war. I just want to take Poland. Me and the Poles are like, bruh. Give me your... Okay, I thought, like... Wow. Do we take that... Destroy that many people yet? Six five thousand is nothing to laugh at. Oh, and I got the German Empire. Ben is just fine on us. Well, that's really not good. This should absolutely help them out, though. These guys over here. Oh, yeah, they're definitely attacking. Oh, yeah. Probably shifting a lot of soldiers over. Ooh. Of course, we have to deal with the Bulgarians, but not really. Well, hold on. Go, 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 go. Tanks, go to Königsberg. You go to Mimel. Danzig. Anything else down here? No? Nice. Just as we like. What was that? Fly master? Sure, why not? Return it. Italian lands. Oh, I guess we're still on Zadar, huh? And Fiume. That's fine. I 
Oh, no. Oh. Huh. Alright. Well, we've made it almost to Königsberg already, so... Oh, well, the two front war is not going to do very well for them. Now, the Finns might come try to beat the living crap out of us, but... They got a while. They got a long while. Wow. Yeah, I don't know if the Germans can really hold out. What do we call it all of our allies? Then again, I mean, you're covering the border for here. Which are not really covering the border up there. Then again, they don't really have a border to cover. So let's call in our allies. Let's see what happens. Hey! Hey! Destroyer, nice. A really terrible two-front war for them. Well, Königsberg is ours. Belgrade pack takes on. We'll get... We'll get they already go to war and kill them off. They're already pushing it into southern Germany. More planes? Nice. Nice. Probably one of the best times planes you can take out Germany. The Fallenster International, yes please, sir, yes, yes. Light tank manufacturer. Oh, more speed. 15% is pretty nice. And straight through Riga. We shall go. Oh, they're definitely advancing here. Not as much as I'd like them to, but... They ain't bad. Oh. Ah. Very nice. Oh, and we're advancing very well through here. Holy cow. Ah, destroyed. Follow Manila. Cool. That sucks. With combined arms for now, it's fine. Sure, guys. Thank you, uh, Austria. Thank you very much. They have a couple. Oh, man. They're running out of planes. That's really good to see, even though we're not really shooting any down. They're shooting all of ours down, but whatever. Nice. Fall of Berlin. So we lost 29,000, which isn't too bad. We've killed off not that many. Never mind, 300,000 versus 30,000. I guess we're, we're on time as well. Oh well. Not a really big concern of mine. Oh, if we get their first port here, that'd be great. Oh, we couldn't done it. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. What's wrong with Germany still? Where for the Rhineland was a little late for that. Oh wow, less than a million map hour now that they're on two front war. Quite a few less divisions, orders were in Georgia, so be it. I have quite a few guns, of course, but don't think they can really keep it up. We've done a lot of damage to them. Also, I think I did choose something else over here. I did choose in inventive leadership. Let me know what which ones do you guys usually choose for Spear of the Academy? I'd like to know which one you you guys think. Or like use a lot. But I did go ideological loyalty, because that extra map, weekly map is really nice. Like warfare, flexible organization. You want to go up and attack? We'll go with that one for now. It's fine. Go up and RDS, please. Not bad. Cut off is pretty good.
Well, the capital's a frontline city now, so... Um, you sure that's a smart idea, guys? Not sure if that was a smart one. Now it goes right back. Now the like, games are like very hard. Look at all these guys encircled here. Ooh, so sad. Ah. Uh. I'll probably take Riga, Polish Republic, Lithuania, and you guys invaded these guys, so you can have Greece. Um, I honestly want, I, I think I'm just going to take Bulgaria. I don't really deserve it, so I'll give maybe more Germany to them than us. Yeah, just because it's uh, it's not technically in their sphere. It's not in my sphere, technically, but it's it's, it's so close to politically, too, that me, I think we should take it, so... Make up for it. I'll give you a lot of this. You guys can have that, and then you guys can have this too. That's, that's about equal to Greece, right? Totally. Ah, so I got these guys to finish off too, don't we? Fall of Germany, the end of an era. Pretty much. Denmark, not bad. German Empire defeated. Brave soldiers proudly marched to Unter den Linden, displaying without doubt the Russian armed forces prevailed in mortal struggle against the German Empire. We have decided what to do with these lands. Liberate Prussia. If they're under us, I'm okay with that. German Socialist Republic. Rudolf Rocker. Oh, no, fuck you, that But you're at least under me. No, you're not. Oh, you just oh, you just liberated. Oh, that sucks. Okay, to Poland. If soldiers marched through the streets of Warsaw after the Polish army surrendered yesterday, early after just yesterday afternoon. Most of what I do with do them. It's fine. Um, can you go lands? Yeah, it's fine. Oh, that's the Bulgarian stuff. Yeah, that's fine. <clears throat> Many lands. Yes. Now they have, they have actual sea access now. And then turn what? Ukrainians? Yes. Yes. Seems pulling well cleanse on that too, but that's fine. Denmark. A little bit of lag. After a short campaign across numerous islands of Denmark and the capital or of its capital, we managed to take down the country. Copenhagen is now in our hands. That says the Atlantic Islands of Denmark is a particular interesting case to deal with, but anyways, it deals out the future of Denmark. Only right, it's a country that's fine. There goes them Dutch boys. I think I'll take these guys. Ah, look at that. German Socialist Republic. Now they're back and unified. There's gonna be a lot of dead Belgians here. What else we do? No. Commune Art Assistance? We could be Peace. Northern Brothers. Yeah, the Pence Treaty Friendship, that's fine. Wow, that's a lot of divisions just here dying for nothing. There goes the Philippines. They're always fighting. No faction, Belgium, Sweden. Oh yeah, I forgot about you guys. I'm just gonna take it for funsies. Thank you. I forgot about Sweden. Yeah, the civil wars in Spain is still going on. Wow. At this point, it's 
probably going to be a really, really, really red world. Let's read a few more things. Lafia and all of them up there. Uh, much of Lafia has been brought under control as the troops occupy the region. Must now decide what to do with it. There you go. East Colato Republic. Peters. Peter Bulgaria. After a long fight with the Bulgarians, we launched a full offensive and forced the Bulgarian army to surrender. So in her hands. What should you do with the lands? Liberate them. Turn communard lands. Um. True. That's fine. Fate of Estonia. Much of Estonia has been brought under control as the troops occupy the region. We must not decide what to do with it. Hey, Estonia. Salmerling. Fate of Western Thrace. Salonika. We have taken the region of Salonika. We must not decide what to do with it. Bulgarian Social Republic. Uh. Well, technically, these guys are under us. You're under them. Um, I don't like the Greeks, but I don't care for the Bulgarians either. Give it to the Bulgarians, because that gives us um, a stronger puppet than those guys up down there. So, Western Thrace. Taking control of the region of Salonika. Now, since I would do that, you can have it. Netherlands. Out of short campaign across marshes and the urban centers of the Netherlands. Man, to take down that proud nation. The Netherlands now in her hands. Decided the future. There you go. And fate of Belgium. I have a short pan, a campaign across the fields of Belgium. We now control the region. Must decide what to do with it. Belgium's a very divided country. Splitting along cultural lines might make for less trouble afterwards. There's Valonia, Flanders, and Wallonia. Flanders is luck. It's lunch. Oh, there was Sweden. I don't know what's going on. Just take it. But liberate Wallonia. Huh. Oh. So we have now Lucy here, and now we have you, Hank. Western Thrace keeps firing. Sweden. Today, the Swedish chief of arms announced the surrender of the army. Supplies and equipment captured after the surrender have been shipped back to our country. Total victory has been achieved, but what should we do with Sweden is an open question. Oh, look at that. Revolutionary Committee. Turn Bulgarian lands, just to turn all the lands to them. Which looks a little bugged. Oh, I got all that. Thessalonica, huh? And now we're turning the Greek lands to the There you go. That's not bad. Georgia looks could be looking a little better, but you know, it is what it is. And we are probably maxed out what the Ukraine could honestly look like. Of course, under the the second. Um... We have quite a few puppets. We have a lot of puppets. We have White Ruthenia. We still have all of Lithuania for some reason. I don't understand why. Estonia up here. Uh, Latvia. Poland got a little bit smaller as they should. She was eating Poland. This guy Adolf, huh? <clears throat> we have Hungary with us. We have uh, Romania with us. We have Bulgaria. We now have uh, Morocco. So we have more rockets. We had Germany under us, but we have Austria too. Yugoslavia. Overall, this has been a pretty gosh darn successful campaign, if I do say so myself. But, you know what, if you enjoyed it, do consider leaving me a like. Comment below as well. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. I'll see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.